This is a busy garage. Gets a lot of fabrication work done in it. It's usually a mess. So while we're working on that, we're into vintage go-kart racing also. It takes place all over the country. So this is a vintage cart that I'm in the process of finishing up. This is about ready to go to upholstery. Um, I bend all the tubing on these. This is a single perimeter frame. Starts at the front axle, comes all the way back. Does your step up, your angle. Comes all the way around the rear of the cart. Same piece of tube goes all the way back to the front. That's all one piece. And again, you fabricate all these pieces because you can't buy you can't you can't buy this frame. This was a very was a very rare frame in the day. Yeah, they, I'm sure they made hundreds of them, but try to find one today. This is a, called an alley cat, and they all broke back in the day. So we replicate it, but we make some changes. We know where they broke. We change things around. So while we're doing the Triumph work, we're also working on this stuff. Over here is one that I'm fabbing. This is going to be the beast. 270 cc's is the class limit for these vintage carts in the C Open class. This is going to get 387 cc engines, so it's going to be a triple engine cart. That's why you see three motor mounts back here. So this is all all getting fabbed together. Uh, this is about a week away from going to powder coat. Engines are 50 year old engines, very rare. It's going to use MC6's, they were made in 1960 and 61. So they're hard to find, hard to find pieces for, but that's what it's going to get and that's what's going to get used. So the seat went to upholstery the other day. I uh, just took these TT pipes here and put the fin header clamps on them. So I'm working on the engine slowly in my in my basement. I need to call and I gotta get the nut that goes on the end of the main shaft. And I have to get uh, circlips for the piston, and then I can, um, the whole bottom end will be together, basically. 